Good morning. There's an article out on RT this morning, and I know a lot of people are going to automatically associate it with the outage that was experienced with Meta yesterday. And the two are apples and oranges. Last night, I mentioned that they will never let a, a crisis go to waste, and, and this article is absolutely an example of that. But the two, the two incidents are apples and oranges. They're not the same. And let me explain. The article... And I'll leave a link to both the articles that I go over today in the description and first comment as always. It says, World Hit by Internet Outages, okay? And uh, it says here, Popular internet platforms owned by Meta, including Facebook, Instagram, and Threads, experienced global disruptions lasting for over two hours on Tuesday. Google services were affected to a lesser extent with reports of claiming that the out, out well it's supposed to be outages not outrages <laughs> may have been caused by who the militants severing red sea cables okay remember they will never let a crisis go to waste several asia ba based telecom operators warned as early as last week that four underwater internet cables had been severed in the red sea okay now they're saying early last week not yesterday in recent months, the area has seen repeated attacks on civilian cargo ships by Yemeni Houthi militants who described the assaults as retaliation for Israel's military operation against Hamas in Gaza. The Houthis, however, have denied cutting internet cables in the region. I'm going to go ahead and finish this article and then I'll, I'll explain to you why the two are apples and oranges. In a post on X on Tuesday, Meta spokesperson Andy Stone said the company was aware people were having trouble accessing their services in a subsequent message he put the disruptions down to a technical issue without providing further details and i will explain that around the same time team youtube part of the broader google group said it had received reports of loading issues with the platform and was working to address the problem on monday hgc communications a hong kong based telecom operator reported that four submarine internet cables had been cut, namely CECOM, TGN, Africa Asia Europe 1, and the Europe India Gateway. According to the company's estimates, the incident affected 25% of its internet traffic. HCC Communications assured customers that it had a contingency plan in place with traffic being rerouted to mainland China and the US. So let's, let's slow down here a little bit because there's some things that we need to point out that maybe not be so clear. So the part about the, um, the incident affecting 25% of, of its internet traffic, they're not talking globally. They're talking HGC communications, 25% of that. They mentioned rerouting. Well, if you know anything about the power grid, the power grid is set up in a, in a way that if one area goes down, it doesn't take everybody else down too, okay, because it's a grid. So literally, if you lose power coming from one area or one direction, it's supposed to be set up to where the power, at least for the most people, will be, you know, taken care of by another feed, by another area. It's a grid. It's all interconnected, right? Internet is much the same way. Uh, they have more than one gateway if you will or more than one highway if you will uh, in order to to get that data from one place to the other they use everything from you know underwater sea cables to satellites they you know there's not just one line that connects the entire world together on the internet it doesn't work that way there's multiple lines so that right there shows you just by itself the difference between say YouTube having problems, you know, longer loading times and whatnot, and, and a total outage. They're two totally different things. So let me continue on with the article, and then I'll continue on with my comment. Uh, the telecom operator released its first public statement on the incident last Thursday, describing it as an exceptionally rare occurrence that caused a significant impact on communication networks in the Middle East. Again, not the world in the Middle East, okay? They were talking about 25% of their traffic, not the world's traffic. Also, I want to point out that this, 
this didn't happen yesterday when the meta outages were experienced okay this this happened prior to that goes uh, goes on to say Tata Communications, part of the Indian conglomerate behind the Seacom TGN Gulf Line, also confirmed to AP that the line had been severed with immediate and appropriate remedial actions underway. Okay, so this line severed. Yemen's Houthi-controlled telecom ministry issued a statement denying reports by the Zionist-linked media outlets that the armed group was responsible for damage to the cables. The Houthis are keen to keep all submarine telecom cables away from any possible risks, the statement added. So, you know, is this true? Is this not true? You know, I would say that they probably rely on those cables just as much as everybody else does. So, cutting it would be pretty much to their own detriment as well. So here's the thing. I want to point out, I want to emphasize that these cables weren't quote-unquote cut yesterday okay what they are trying to do is they are trying to associate this incident that happened over there with the Houthi rebels and why because they want you to associate it okay they want you to associate it to why you couldn't log into Facebook yesterday because you may be pissed off because you couldn't log into Facebook yesterday you see how this works it's it's all meant to get your mind against a group of people because, you know, of something totally unrelated. It's propaganda. It's known as propaganda. So I want to, uh, I want to bring back up yesterday's article that I covered last night on the show. And that is uh, this article from CBS News. It says, Facebook and Instagram restored after users report widespread outages. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. That's where the meat of what we need is at. And it's right here. It says, and I'll read this paragraph too, a senior official with the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency told reporters Tuesday that the agency was not aware of any specific election nexus nor any specific malicious cyber activity nexus to the outage. That's true. The outage came just ahead of Thursday's deadline for a large technology company for large technology companies to fall in line with the European Union's new Digital Markets Act. To comply, Meta is making changes like allowing users to separate their Facebook and Instagram accounts so personal information can't be combined to target them with online ads. It's not clear whether the outage is connected to any preparations Meta might be implementing to adhere to the law. Facebook has more than 2 billion daily active users worldwide, according to Meta. So, and this, this I can guarantee you, is what happened. They were trying to uh, either test or get their system switched over. Because, okay, what was happening was everybody was logged out, okay? And they couldn't log back in. So, that is clearly... A problem with the authentication servers that authent authenticate your login to let you into their system okay apples and oranges from having a line cut and not being able to transmit data you could go to the Facebook website it was coming up you just couldn't log in why because once again it was all about the authentication servers it wasn't about the main servers for Facebook so Again, the two are apples and oranges, and what that article is actually doing is it's, it's kind of trying to get people to associate one with the other, even though they are totally unre unrelated. Now, could that have had issues or, you know, an, an impact as far as uh, YouTube slow loading and stuff like that? Possibly. And the reason why is because when uh, all of that data was rerouted through China and the U.S., it could have slowed down a lot of other stuff. So, you know, once again, kind of like the, the uh, power grid, if you lose a chunk of your grid and the other, uh, the other chunks around it have to keep power going for all the others, uh, that they don't lose the, their power as well. There's going to be more stress on that, that grid. And, and if large enough chunks go down of the, of the power grid, you'll start to have what they call cascading failures to where those other uh, chunks of grid around cannot keep up 
and so you start to you know, lose your uh, your grid just incrementally, if you will. And internet is is somewhat similar. You know, if you lose um, a data source in one area, then that's going to put much bigger strain on the other surrounding data sources. And so, yes, you could have an internet slowdown. That's very very possible. However, as far as this this uh, these C cables being cut, nah. It's two totally, it's apples and oranges, two totally different things. So you have to be aware of this stuff because they can easily get anybody to believe anything as long as those individuals that they're telling doesn't know how things work. And they do it all the time. They do it absolutely all the time. They, they take advantage of, of people's uh, lack of, of knowledge. So just a common thing they always do. Anyway, I, uh, I just wanted to bring you that. I hope you have a good day. Shalom.